Right now, there's a girl walking home halfway through her first semester at college, feeling anxiety and pressure. She's wondering how to tell her mom that she doesn't want to study her degree anymore. She's nervous and confused how to express how she feels in a way that her mom understands and doesn't feel upset. Right now, she doesn't feel fulfilled, her life lacks meaning, and the only way she knows she's still alive is that she's still breathing. Everyone's impressed by her accomplishments. She's living up to everyone's metrics of success. She's outperforming her peers at one of the best colleges in the country. But none of that lives up to her definition of success. How's school? She replies, it's fine, mom. Her mom says, I'm so proud you're going to become a lawyer. She thinks for a minute, but then the words just come out. But I don't want to become a lawyer, mom. Her mom doesn't understand. She's confused. She says, but we've worked so hard to get here. The girl replies, and that's why I need you to understand me. We waste so many years studying something we don't care about because we care so much about those who care for us. But the challenge is our focus is fueled more by guilt than gratitude. Our motivation is not a powerful future but actually fear. Nothing, and I mean nothing that is completed out of the intention of fear can lead to fulfillment. Our parents have sacrificed so much to get to where they are, but why are we sacrificing where we can go? They've worked so hard to move us forwards, why are we choosing to step backwards? And remember, we can't make anyone proud if we lose pride in what we're doing. There's no chance we can make anyone happy if we're unhappy ourselves. We think giving up on their dream will let them down, not realizing what giving up on our dreams does to us. Our parents will always want what's good for us. But if we think we know what's better, start that conversation, open that dialogue. Don't let years go by and carry that inside yourself. We can't spend the rest of our life being tested on what we don't love. And remember, if we don't choose to pursue our passion, we'll probably live in regret.